here I want to talk through a technique I really like to use within my analysis, especially if we have groupings of information or the opportunity to create groupings of information in our analysis. Sometimes you can get trapped into showcasing too much information in particular visuals or visualizations. And sometimes it can be better to somewhat group those so that you can break them out into individual pieces on a report page or within your report uh, for drilling into, for example, or dr drilling into different aspects of your information. Now, if we analyze this visualization here that, we've, that I've created, you can see that, uh, first of all, there's a, a great technique called, uh, that I've called multi-threaded uh, d dynamic visuals where you can actually create slices which enable you to look at visualizations the very same visualizations in different in different ways that ordinarily wouldn't be possible with a generic data model but also you'll see that I've broken out the information based on its region where it's based regionally in the uh, on the east coast of the United States now I could have created one visualization which showed every absolutely everything but I thought it was a much better look uh, within the report if I was able to break it out like this, where we were able to just look at individually the key southern states or southern eastern states, the the mid eastern states, and and the top of um, and and the the higher up eastern states within the U.S. Now you don't need to create custom calculations to actually um, to actually implement this sort of uh, this this sort of visualization in, in your analysis. You can just use the standard, the, stat, the, the, the core calculations that you've already created, but you can use this really powerful filtering area to quickly be able to filter or drill into certain aspects and create certain groupings of your data. So if I say, if I click onto this map visualization, you'll see in this filter section that I have gone through and I've filled it out all of the regions that I don't actually want to apply to a certain visualization. And I've done this at a visual level filter because all I want to actually change is the visual. You, you can also change the page level filter or uh, the entire report. But in this case, because all of these things are on exactly the same, uh, the, everything's on the same page and I, I need to adjust certain visuals, I have to utilize the, uh, the visual level filter. We could also have broken these out into different report pages. That's an alternative way that you could have done it as well. But you can do this uh, to certain sections of your report page, and I think it w looks really effective. So you can actually adjust every single uh, visual, visual here. So you'll see here that Florida and Georgia are the only ones that are selected. And it's the same for all of, um, all of the visualizations on this, um, in this section of the, of the report. And the same goes for this visualization uh, and across this line and this visualization down here. And it quite clearly breaks out the regions of the, the entire areas that, that, that you're anal uh, analyzing. And then you can drill even further. So say, for instance, we wanted to look at the information, but we only wanted to look at New York. Uh, what I've also done is, is uh, managed the interactions between all these reports. So I can select New York here, and you'll see that none of these ones up here are actually impacted. So it's only the one at this level that is impacted, and that's because the interactions have been adjusted. So I've actually turned off the interactions for all of these other visuals, except for the visuals in the same row. And so we can click around and see how the, uh, those ones, and we can also um, we can also actually drill into any of these um, any of these visualize uh, any of these elements in these visuals. Uh, so say we wanted to look at just New York, we can drill into just New York, and it only impacts that particular row. So those are two techniques or two visualization te techniques that are very simple to implement, but enable you to do quite um, you know create quite compelling compelling reports and visualizations um, you know, for your analysis. So if you add in all the different things that we're doing here, we're using this multi-threaded technique uh, where we can jump between a number of different days. We can also jump between, say, look at profit or look at revenue. And then we can drill into aspects via um, any of our visuals that have been, um, that have been uh, had additional visual level filters placed on them. And then we've also edited interactions uh, so that only what should be impacted is impacted. So this 
cool range of cool techniques there. I'm interested to know what to, what you think of them. So please add to the comments below, uh, and and also you know, think about how you could actually think hard about how you could actually use these in your own visualizations to make them far more compelling and uh, adding far more value to um, to the consumers of the information.